I am extremely shocked at the behavior of our colleagues in government, the UPND. You see, in life, to be truthful is a virtue that you should have. To be truthful is a virtue that every human being must strive to have. But it appears our friends now are a government of liars, for the liars, by the liars, for their own benefit. It now appears that our friends are a government of liars, by the liars, for the liars, for their benefit. Sure, two days ago, Honorable Gary Combo made a statement that he was giving street vendors in Lusaka two days to vacate the streets or he was going to use force. This morning, true to his weight, they went and removed the street vendors from the streets. But it is surprising that their chairman went to address the vendors, stating that no, it is actually the PF government that has removed you from the streets because the chairman, I mean the, the mayor is the PF mayor and they are doing this to decampaign the UPND. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear brother Gary Nkom, surely, why should you allow your party operative to mislead the people with impunity? Let us accept. President HH yesterday said, I'm going to make hard decisions. And you should be able to defend your hard decision. Don't do a blame game. It is you, my dear brother, Gary Nkombo, who said you remove the street vendors. How can the UPND now start sending a video viral addressing the vendors that it is actually the, UP, the, M, the, the PF that have removed you as the way of the campaigning us because the mayor is the PF mayor? What powers has the mayor got? The minister gave instruction. What can the mayor do if the minister has given instruction? So I want to appeal to the vendors that it is not true that it is the PF that have removed you from the streets because they want to decampaign the, the, the UPND. That is an excellent lie. To the contrary, PF allowed street vendors to remain on the street and trade, not because we love street vending, but because in this government there is no employment opportunities. In this government there is very little uh, 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 activity, uh, commercial activities to do. And we said we'll keep the vendors on the street until we find them alternative places to go and alternative things to do and create employment. Michael Sat at one time transferred the then local government minister Nkanduluo when she threatened to remove the street vendors from the streets. And uh, my dear brother and uh, friend President Agaende Ichilema is on record promising that the UPND in government will not remove street vendors. But alas, they have backtracked on their promise. Now they want to transfer the blame to the PF. Let me remind the vendors that I told you during campaign, we told you during campaign, that this is not a government for the poor. This is not a pro-poor government. Their policies are to enhance the business of those that they rub shoulders with. That is why it is important to think, to rethink your decision and treat this government with the contempt that they deserve. It is extremely disheartening that you can create such lies that because the mayor is PF, so it is the PF that has removed you from the streets. And we feel sorry for the street vendors. And my appeal to uh, Minister Garin Combo that please think for the poor. Think for the poor. That's how they raise their money. That's how they look after their families. That's how they take their children to school. But removing them from the streets without giving them alternative things to do will promote uh, petty uh, uh, crimes in the townships.
Thank you.